Hey everyone, and welcome to Good News for Small Government. I'm Kathy Reisowitz, and today we're going to talk about Hobby Lobby. Specifically, we're going to talk about IUDs and emergency contraception. Now, a lot of people, including Hobby Lobby, think that emergency contraception and IUDs cause abortions. This is actually factually inaccurate. So, here's the way that this stuff works. Emergency contraception does not cause abortions. What it is, is it's a higher dose of hormonal birth control. It's exactly what's in the birth control pill in a higher dose. And it works just like the birth control pill. It, it mainly prevents ovulation. Now, it can also prevent implantation of a fertilized egg in the uterus, but that is not its primary mechanism. And so, just like birth control, it does not cause abortions. Um, you can believe that if it's theoretically possible to prevent implantation, that it, it is an abortion pill, but that's not actually how it works. And also, though it is theoretically possible for it to prevent implantation, um, there is absolutely zero empirical evidence that it actually does this. The same is true of IUDs. IUDs do not cause abortions. Simply put, if you believe that IUDs or emergency contraception causes abortions, you also have to believe that about all hormonal forms of birth control, and you must oppose them all equally. The morning after pill does not cause abortions. So, believe whatever you want to believe, think whatever you want to think, oppose whatever you want to oppose as far as contraception goes, but get the facts straight. Do not say that emergency contraception and IUDs are abortions. The abortion pill is not birth control. The simple fact is, if all forms of contraception were available over the counter and without a prescription, we wouldn't be having the mandate, we wouldn't be having the Hobby Lobby case, and we wouldn't be fighting about this. People could choose what they wanted to choose, people could they, they could make their decisions according to their consciences, and it wouldn't be a problem. So, if you care about this, if you want to see this issue solved, fight to make these options available over the counter for women.